Hey, hey, hey. Um, good evening, everybody. Uh, yeah, welcome back to more Breath of the Wild. We're in Zora's Domain. We've ended up here by accident, basically. Um, so I guess we'll go ahead and solve the water blight problem while we're here. Assuming we're going the right way. I don't know if we are going the right way. Also, is there a gear shop in here? Prob there probably is, right? Well, if there's no gear shop here yet, I guess we should dress for the occasion. Yeah. Well, we're going swimming, are we not? <laughs> Is this the gear? No, it's not. It's a pot. Oh, Master Link? Oh. He recognized us. Hmm. Okay. The if there's a clothes shop in here, it's not it's not it's not quite here yet, I guess. We'll find it eventually. I assume. Oh. I don't have a weapon equipped right now. Apparently? No wait I do. No, I don't have a bow equipped right now. I took the bow off, that's what it was. This is just a fountain, this is not the way in. Okay. It's probably up here. You'd think the fish people would be okay with it raining all the time, but I guess they're just a little tired of it. Oh dude. But you're looking over the looking over the edge. Oh yeah. Hey, he got off the tower, right. He wasn't able to join the Prince Sidon. He jumped into Zora from the top of the tower, then he came back here. Hmm, deeply moved. Scouting on diving spots. Oh, climbing waterfalls? Hmm, interesting. Can we not cry on this? this? You'd think we'd be able to cry on these pools of water, but apparently not. Are we going the right way here? Whoops. Oh, they're sleeping. Divine Beast Varuta. Oh, it is in the middle of the day. Yeah, that works. Okay, so we can only cause... We can only cause so much chaos, it looks like. <laughs> Okay, what if though? <laughs> nope, they are sound asleep and they will not wake up. Nothing in there though. Okay, let's let's stop bullying the locals. Yeah, we should probably stop bullying the locals. I'm assuming this is the way. Yep. 
Yeah, I don't think the pots contain anything, do they? No, this is the exit. It's probably up there. Who stole your shock arrows? You, you're Link! Finally, I can avenge Lady Mifa. It has been hundred years since you last showed your face here. Now I second will cut you down myself. What do you mean? Playing dumb, eh? Nice try, but you cannot fool me, Champion Link. You are unable to protect Lady Mifa from Calamity Ganon. It has been hundred years since we lost her. Poor Lady Mifa. How heartbreaking. Ah, of course. Because you stole my shock arrow, that's why. In that case, you take responsibility of appeasing the Divine Beast Varuta. Hmm. Hmm. Grumpy old man. Apparently, yeah, the people in this village still actually recognize us. I guess the elders. The elders actually recognize us now. Because in the other village, in the other villages, they, they just don't. Nobody knows who we are. At least so far. Oh my god, he's big! He's very big. Ah, you must be the Hylian that Sidon brought here, correct? You did well to come all the way here. I am King Dorifan, ruler of the Zora. Hmm? That object upon your waist, is that not a Shakir slate? Hmm. Now that I have gotten a good look at you, it is all too clear who you are. You are the Hylian champion, Link! <laughs> he just... Link's face did not look particularly photogenic there, did it? Do not tell me you have forgotten me. The Hylian Champion? You can't mean THE Link? THAT Champion? So that's why I've heard your name before. What a faithful coincidence that we should cross paths. <laughs> I cannot believe it. The Hylian Champion, Link, has appeared before us. We have met numerous times, I'll have you know. Ah, so many memories. My mind is overflowing with nostalgia, my friend. I have heard a terrible rumor that you have fallen in combat, but it appears you've managed to survive. Extraordinary! I've lost my memory. Come again, you say you have lost your memory. But surely you must remember my precious daughter, Mifa. Yes, you do, do you not? <laughs> Mifa who? Doesn't ring a bell. I cannot believe it. Have you truly forgotten my dear Mifa as well? You and Mifa were so close, yet you do not remember her. Young hero, please look upon the beauty of Zora's domain. Do you see that statue? Does gazing upon Mifa's immortalized form still not jog your memory? Well, perhaps your memory will return in time. I dearly hope so. Father, I do not believe discussing my sister is helping matters at the moment. Link seems confused. Oh? Yes, of course. But first, it is worth noting how remarkable it is that Sidon brought a champion here without realizing it. It is quite a feat, my boy. Wahaha, <laughs> that is a good one. Link, I doubt not that you have endured a great many trials. Still, I must ask you to hear my plea. Now then, hero, I must inform you that Zora's domain is in danger of vanishing because of Divine Beast Varuta. I shall do you the courtesy of speaking bluntly. We alone cannot stop this beast. We lend us your strength. What? King Dorifan, my liege, please do not speak so. To ask a Hylian for help. Why, the very thought of it curls my fins. Muzu, I expected more of you. How can you still protest? Muzu, it is rude to speak that way to your king and his guests. Link is here because I invited him. With such unprece unprecedented rainfall, we have no choice but to rely on the aid of a trustworthy Hylian. Have we not already discussed this and arrived at this very conclusion? He is the key to saving Zora's domain, I have no doubt in my mind. Mm. Indeed, Link is a champion, true and true. As things now stand, Zora's domain, nay, perhaps all of Hyrule, is doomed to be swallowed by the sea. Isn't that a different game? That's a different game, isn't it? This is bigger than all of us, my friend. Zora and Hylians alike must put aside our differences and band together. Have you forgotten already, my king? We cannot trust these lowly Hylians. A hundred years ago, they abused the power of an ancient civilization and turned Hyrule into what it is today. And that is not the least of it. It is their fault that Lady Mipha was lost to us. Link. 
Divine beast Varuta has great power. It has the unique ability to create an endless supply of water. Of late it has been mercilessly spouting water into the air. As a result, this area has been plagued by heavy rains. For Azora, water and air is one, so we do not think that this would be quite so critical a problem. Sadly, the rains have filled the eastern reservoir nearly to the point of flooding. If the reservoir bursts as it soon will, I fear immense damage will befall not only Zora's domain, but also the area downstream from us. There, Hylian lives are in very grave danger. Hmm, the Divine Beast is crying out once again. Sea Elephant I see Do you get that chat? Do you get that one? Do you see it? Mm. You see it, right? <laughs> Sorry, that is not how rain works. That is how sprinklers work though. The Divine Beast Varuta. Your princess Zelda often studied the Divine Beast, that is, in the time before the Great Calamity. According to her research, the orbs located on Ruta's shoulders are mechanisms that can control the water it generates, however they require electricity to work. These orbs are clearly out of control now because there is no electricity causing Trudy to stop them. Mm. Second, who was quite a shock resistant for Azora, hit one with a shock arrow. Sure enough, it slowed the water a bit. Unfortunately, as an aquatic race, we Zora are terribly vulnerable to the power of electricity. Perhaps because we could not safely strike it with enough electricity at once, the water soon returned to its full force. <laughs> that is why I went in search of a Hylian who could help us. Link, I am certain you have already figured this out, but we need you to use shock arrows to get those orbs properly working properly again. Hmm. I will aid you in any way I can, of course. Please, hero, I beg of you, help me stop Brutal's rampage of destruction. What? Princess Zelda herself instructed you to board the Divine Beast and appease it from within. So then, Princess Zelda is still alive. I do not believe it. She was alive this whole time, just as you were. The events of 100 years ago cannot be altered, it is true. But if we can regain control of the Divine Beasts, they may yet prove useful in sealing Calamity Geddon once and for all. I did not know you had such grand ambitions, Link. Wondrous, naturally, I shall help too. Once it has stopped rampaging, you can easily climb inside it. Come, Link, let us appease Ruta together. Thank you, Link, truly, we are in your depth. Our goal is the same. That means our meeting was nothing short of destiny. Now then, allow me to offer you this gift as a show of faith. Ah, the armor of this place. So long as you wear this, you can ascend waterfalls just like Azora. Please, take good care of it. King Dorifan. Surely you, surely you do not really intend to gift this outside of the Zora armor. Countless generations of Zora princesses have gifted an armor to the one they have sworn to marry. Princess Mifa made that one there with your own hands. It is far too important to entrust to a shady Hylian. He may be a champion, but Mifa had no such relationship with him. So why should he receive such an honor? This is too just too much, my liege. I do not understand that one bit. Hm. That Muzo is not easily swayed once his mind is set. You must understand, he was in charge of educating my dear daughter, Mifa. Naturally, she means a lot to him, just as she men means the world to us. Ever since we lost her to the Calamity, he has grown to despise Hylians. I hope he can forgive his rudeness. You're <laughs> full of grumpy old men. Grumpy old men who recognize Link though. Hmm, but what shall we do now? I tasked Muzu with finding the shock arrows he would need to appease Varuta, but now he has rushed off in a huff. Link, do not let his words concern you. I will work this out with Muzu. I shall return shortly. Well, I mean, if it's shock arrows you need, I have them. Sidon, I suppose this means you're going to tell him. Link, Muzu is most likely at the square down below. Would you mind going down there? I would like you to try to speak with him. Will do. Is this a full set? No, okay, we we have pants separately. <laughs> it will be Choto Muzukashi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are there pants to this armor? Is there a pants and a headdress to this armor, or is it just an armor piece by itself? 
I am curious. But you know, swim speed up. So I probably should just wear it for now. Wear it with the swim trunks. Hello, my king. Will do. Bizarre. He's kind of fish eye when we're looking at it from here. I offer you, I offer you this piece. He has an invisible force shield. Damn, his his girth is mighty. He's immune to bombs and he does not react. Truly a chat worthy of a chat worthy of being king. came all the way here, but it was in vain. I have no desire to speak to you. Speak with you. Hmm. Listen well, Muzu. There is something you need to know. He who stands here, the man called Link, is the one whom my sister, Mifa, had feelings for. Ooh. Spicy. I was only a child then, so I did not know it myself at the time, but it is so. I grew up hearing my father tell stories, some of which were about my sister's undying love for a highly named Link. What? No! You cannot fool me with such a fanciful lie. Not this Zora. How could Lady Mifa possibly have feelings for a Hylian like him? Wow. This entire... Long from Pennsylvania. <laughs> this... The Zora's domain side is an entire K-drama is what it is. The facts are clear. He remembers nothing. Even when he looks upon Princess Mifa's statue. It is the truth, Muzu. Though you never knew it, he was ever in Mifa's heart. Flashback. I noticed the bomb I left there on the statue is gone. Iron treads. I was thinking. This reminds me of the time we first met. You were just a reckless child. Always getting yourself hurt at every turn. Every time I would heal you, just as I'm doing right now. I thought it was funny how, being a Hylian, you looked grown up so much faster than I did. I was... I was always willing to heal your wounds. Even back then. So if this Calamity Ganon does in fact return, what can we really do? We just don't seem to know much about what we'll be up against. But know this, that no matter how difficult this battle might get, if you, if anyone ever tries to do you harm, then I will heal you. No matter when, or how bad the wound, I hope you know that I will always protect you. Once this whole thing is over, maybe things can go back to how they used to be when we were young. You know. Perhaps we could spend some time together. And this is interesting. Huh? So she's actually like the childhood friend romance option? <laughs> but unfortunately not the one to be, huh? Because Link and Zelda are the official couple. Pretty much. Then again, I guess... Yeah, the hundred years passed, right? It is a, It was a tragic doomed romance from the start. What is the matter, Link? Are you unwell? 
Hmm? You are quivering like a hatchling. Whatever is the matter? <laughs> because she died. <laughs> Harsh. What? Do not mistake me for a fool, Hylian. There is no way you remembered her just now when it is most convenient. Huh? In any case, without any solid proof, I cannot possibly take you at your word. If you have any such proof, now is the time to show it. Do so and do so and and I I shall tell you how to get those shock arrows. Yes, as well as anything else you wish to know. But you don't have any evidence, do you? Ace Attorney. Have you truly not figured it out yet? Simply take a close look at what Link is wearing. Hmm? hmm? You really think changing your clothes is going to make me? Tss. What? Eh? Roar. What in the? That is the Zora armor from before. Lady Meepo made that by hand, and yet it fit you so perfectly. Oh wait. So if we weren't wearing that, would we would we have been prompted to put that on? Is that what happens? What is the meaning of this? Hmm. Now you understand, do you not? Now you know who her heart belongs to and who she made the special armor for. The fact that this armor fits Link perfectly should be proof enough that Mifa made it for him and him alone. You have always disliked Hylians even before the Great Calamity. That is why Mifa never told you. Hmm. Now that you know, you must promise to help him save us all, Muzu. Please, tell us where we can find the shock arrows we need. Knowing you, I bet you have already figured it out. A <laughs> racist fish. Hmm, I never would have imagined she would make that special armor for one such as he. Ah. I do not approve of asking for help from a Hylian, but I suppose it is our only option at this point. I am a proud Zora, that means I must take responsibility for my unwarranted behavior toward you. As promised, I shall tell you where you can collect as many shock arrows as you will need. The tall mountain over yonder. It is called Ploymus Mountain, and there you will also find Shatterback Point. The terrifying creature has made his home up there. This awful beast shoots volley after volley of shock arrows. Even a single one could be fatal to Azora. Hmm. Aha! You must mean that Lenel. He is a man beast, that one. That beast does indeed wield shock arrows. That is certainly one way to collect them quickly. He is vicious, to be sure, but I am certain Link will rise to the challenge. In order to appease the Divine Beast, I estimate that you will need, hmm, at least 20 shock arrows. Do you think you can gather that many? Huh? Hmm? Well, well, what have we here? It seems you already have some shock arrows. Still, if you need any more, you can always go to Ploymus uh, Mountain to restock. Hmm. Link, I'll be waiting for you at East Reservoir Lake, right by the Divine Beast. Huh? When you are ready, come join me there. <laughs> Wonderful. Together we shall stop the Divine Beast onslaught. <laughs> Just go over to Lurian and Vision buy shock arrows. Well, we don't need to do any of that because we have 33 shock arrows. Right now? 33, I'm th pretty sure. I just I just looked. 34. 34 because I picked that one I picked that one more up. I'm good. I've also got these. You know, if I really want to use them. And also, I have a I have a 50 50 damage bow. But I probably don't need it. I am still very geared. I'm very geared from my uh, Hyrule Castle visits. The shop won't restock arrows if you more than 50 of any given one. I see. Well, I guess it would be it would be nice if we could find the other pieces of the armor first, though. Are they purchasable, though? This is the entrance, right? Do we have to do quests for the remaining parts? <laughs> yeah, Linnells are Linnells, but we don't need to bur we don't need to worry about them. Not that much anyway. Well I guess we can prove we can prove to the guy that we can swim up the waterfall. It's just a box standard Ridley now. I see. Whoa. Now that's a traversal skill. 
It's my observation. Yep, you said that. Congratulations to the new Zora armor. It is most impressive indeed. Bring the Zora armor even higher than like you can climb a waterfall and get back up here in no time at all. Ooh. Dive ahead up here into the water below. Alright, I'll do it. Diving is beauty. Is that it? There's no there's no actual dive motion like there is. I'm not sure there's a Whoops. What are you looking for, sir? Is there a prompt? Is there a prompt for it? <laughs> because I left a bomb there? Do you have a prompt? That's not it. They don't want me to just slide off. But I guess it's mostly a cosmetic thing, cause. We wouldn't really do it. It wouldn't be really much reason to do it, I guess. There it is. Blinding brightness. Radiant beauty. Okay, climb the waterfall and meet him back up there. Some Koroks require this motion. Fair enough. Fantastic. Can you feel that? My soul is on fire. It's pulsating with beauty. You showed me something truly special, thank you so much. Now then, come over here real quick. That was amazing! I saw your diving waterfall climb with my own lucky eyes, and now those very eyes are flooded with tears of joy. Yes, I must thank you somehow. Oh, I feel emotionally ravaged after that. It's not every day I get to see a diving form as beautiful as yours, you know. I'll be looking forward to your next dive, I really will. Alright. Oh, the sleepy heads are up. Because it's daytime. It just always feels like it's nighttime while we're down here. Uh, no. We got a guy from Minogo Bridge. Mm -hmm. Yep, we're stopping Ruta. Okay, I guess we'll just go over there. Shouldn't take too long. Now, this is some fancy architecture though, right? This is legitimately pretty cool. Some nice stuff. Like, a look at the designs and everything. This feels like a real place almost, right? A very touristy real place. Yo, sit down! I'ma jump scare you! That was intended. Shut up, chat. Shut up. Glad to see you're ready to go, Link. Are you ready for this? Do you have your Zora armor and our shock arrows? Wonderful. You never cease to amaze, Link. Now then, let us go and appease that divine beast as one. Here we go.
Gaze now upon the divine beast's back. Do you see those glowing pink orbs? You will need to shoot each of them with a shock arrow. With your Zora armor, well, you now have the ability to ascend waterfalls. So I shall take you right up to the side of the divine beast, and from there you can swim up and take aim. I know you can do it. I believe in you. Now hurry up and get up on my, get on my back. You sure? What are you talking about? We can do this. Let's get going. Okay, here we go. Ha! I am unstoppable in the water. Ruta is responding to our presence. I'll move away and wait for an opening before we approach. I'll keep going at full speed. It's up to you to ward off Ruta's attacks. Are you ready? Divine Beast Varuta will undoubtedly use his ancient and mysterious powers against us. That includes hurling giant ice blocks that we will need to watch out for. I shall leave those to you. Alright. Oops. Can we direct this? Wait, can we can we aim this? I'm not sure if we can aim this. Hmm. Is Sidon just kind of doing whatever? Okay, we gotta break all of them. Okay, he doesn't want he doesn't want us to just avoid them. Oops. You know, can you do this without the Zora armor? No, I'm curious. He won't take us back unless we break all of them now. Get those so are all the Zora, are all the Zora British. Feels like it feels like they are. Can we hit the other one from here? We can. Did that work? Did I hit the other one? There's only one more, I think. Oops. Alright, I need to approach this from the front. There we go. Probably could have done that in just two sequences at that rate. Wow, that was astounding, an absolute thrill. The rain stopped. Blink, look, the water spotted from Ruta has slowed down. Ruta is floating higher now, you wanted to venture inside it, right? I'll bring you closer. We're counting on your hero. Do good work in there. Well, Link, here we are. Looks like. 
This is where the real work starts. Best of luck. Nice job cutting off the water flow from this divine beast. Show the enemy no fear. I'll see you back at Zora's domain. Farewell. He's not coming with us. Finish the job. Because, you know, Teba didn't come with us because he was injured. Sidon just didn't feel like joining us, I guess. Despite his gung ho attitude, he just kinda. He ditched. He ditched as soon as we actually got inside the elephant. So like are the old champions just kinda haunting their haunting their road robots? Is that the idea? They are? Yeah. So it's literally just like their ghosts, huh? Or is it more than that? Well I'm sure they'll tell us eventually. Map is true there. Oh wait, this isn't... It's not deep water, it's just regular water. Water level's probably like the bank angle on on uh you know I'm not gonna be able to remember the names of the of the robots, so I'm just gonna call it uh by their animal. Bird robot Bird robots got the bank angle, I'm assuming water level is this one. Alright, that would make sense. Yeah, there's a lizard. Uh huh. And there's a camel. Huh. Okay. I'm probably still just gonna call them by like their element, you know. Good. You've obtained the map of the divine beast. Wind temple, water temple, fire temple, and uh, whatever the last one is. <laughs> you know. 
That's probably what people abbreviate it to, right? Because that's what the traditional Zelda dungeons are. You will see several glowing points on your map which represent the terminals that control Ruta. Take Ruta back by activating all of the terminals. Be careful. Yep, I got it. I already see the way to activate two of them, so... Oh, this is the- oh wait, this is the main unit. Got it, this is where Water Blight shows up. And then we're gonna kick his ass, cause we have- we have ancient weapons. There are a lot of positions for this one. Okay. What? Okay, let's just see what happens if we raise it all the way then. And what does it actually do? Something fell above us. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. There's something up top. This is just basically a big old shrine wall, so we can't actually climb it. Hearing noises. Okay, it's not putting a cryonis block underneath it either. I'll come back to that. Look around a bit more. Complex mechanism. This looks like it would be part of a rewind test in Tears of the Kingdom now that I'm looking at it. <laughs>
So that thing's one that thing wants to be in there. Got it. There's also a terminal in there, I think. Let me look at this map a bit more. Okay, that's uh, not part of the trunk, so... It's something entirely different. The one down there is the one that's in the water. Then we've got one that's there. It's there somewhere. Okay, I see it, I see it. It's this one. It's gonna be tricky to time. We'll wait for that one to come back around again. I mean, there's not much else we can do. Okay, no, that's not gonna work out for us. We'll have to time we'll have to time that properly, yeah. Got it, got it. Oh, for this one we're not uh we're not lowering the water level or raising it out of the water. Got it. This really is just a big old shrine, isn't it? That's that one. I hear the music picking up. Make sure we're looking at the right one. Oh shit. I guess we could also just do it the other way. 
Oh wait, no, that's attached to the chest. Okay, no, it doesn't work. We have to do the top one. It was pretty worth it. All right, now this one. Magnesis thing. Got it. Okay, that's two. There are three terminals remaining. You can do it. Right, once in the other wheel. Yeah, this isn't a water level dungeon at all. <laughs> kind of expected it to be from like I've heard I've heard like some other Zelda dungeons have like you have to manipulate the water level kind of things. It's part of the puzzles. I guess this one, isn't it? Okay, there's a terminal in there. Most of that infamy comes from Ocarina of Time? I see. Okay, that's underwater. Alright, what do you want from me exactly? Do I need to turn the water off? Doesn't look like it. We'll figure out how to turn the water off. Did we freeze it? That was it. Why would that suddenly cause the water level to drop? That, that doesn't follow logically. The water would have stayed the same level. It would have stopped it from turning, but like, really? The water level stops? I'm not sure how exactly that works, but okay. Far be it to me for me to question Zelda, Zelda physics, but it is mostly intuitive. Okay, now we need to get to the higher Higher please, we gotta ride the gear up. At least I'm pretty sure we need to ride the gear up. Okay, that does that. Oh wait, it's permanent. I'm not even sure what that did. Oh, 
Oh, is there the sh it's a shortcut back up, is that it? That's all. Yeah, it's a shortcut, that's what it is. The way is blocked because of the nose. I see it. It's just adjusting the nose while you're on it, huh? That's all there is to it. I thought he couldn't get me. Apparently he could. Never mind. He, he got me. Oh, I put this all the way back down here. Eh. At least we got the shortcut open. Wait, a secret. Two secrets. Unfortunately, our inventory is full. We can't get up here just yet. Unless... This rotates this wheel. But there's no reason we need to go this way. Okay, so... Alright, gotcha. Probably an intended solution, but... I guess there was probably an intended solution to get up here. Because you can do these in any order. But nothing's stopping us from just... Nothing stopping us from just doing a little bit of uh, shot cutting, right? Wow. 
You're telling me this doesn't provide an updraft? Come on, it's fire. It does not provide an updraft. That's... Huh. Odd. Okay. Of a shot. Yeah, it's not that. They probably want us to rain the water on it then. I am curious how you, how you would get up here without Rivali skill. Just one terminal remaining. I have faith in you. Wait, can you swim up the spout of this thing? Is that what it is? Guess we'll give it a try. That's definitely not it. You don't swim up the big one. I guess we just go towards the trunk now. Maybe you will have to ride the trunk back up. Like that's how you're supposed to supposed to do it. down, stand at the end of it. But maybe you have to stand at the end of it. And then... I think that was exactly it. Although I could probably revalue scale over the rest of the way. <laughs> now it's right above us.
I know you can complete a dungeon with all the valley skills since you can do it you can do it in any order, so it doesn't matter. It does make one wonder though. Especially since there's patches of uh there's patches of stuff up here. So clearly they expect you to be able to get up here. Yeah, I mean, yeah, there's a chest on the other side too. You can't cry on is the water stream. You could probably glide to the end. You could probably glide to the end from here. I have a lower it all the way now. I need to get a clearer look at this though to see where. Now where exactly is this? It's on top. Okay, there's gonna be a bit of a dancing. It's gonna be a bit of a yeah. It's gonna be a bit of a dance maneuver. It is. But yeah, I'm at a loss as to how you would even get into this, this position to begin with. Seems like a bit, it seems a bit tricky to get into this, like get up here to begin with if you don't have a value skill. So that, that is the question, isn't it? What angle do we want it at? We need it to be more than that. A little bit more. Okay, that's high enough. You activated all the terminals. Now you can start the main control unit. There should be a new glowing mark on your map. Head there. Be careful not to let your guard down. All right, Chad. You can just tell me how how would you get up here if you didn't have cry uh, if you didn't have Rivali skill. to fight water blight now so you ride the trunk up 
How do you ride the trunk up though? Like you're on the inner side of it, you can't you can't ride it, there's nothing to grip onto. It's a passage that leads upwards. Hmm, guess we may have missed it. Well, they did say you can do it in any order, so I guess it doesn't matter. Alright, are you ready to fight Water Blight? He's a pushover, this one. We're gonna destroy him. Yeah, I know they're not dependent on Rivali's kill, but you can use Rivali's kill to cheese some of them. I'm pretty sure. Which is probably why you want to get Rivali's kill first. Because you can cheat. This Beepo is mostly for first dungeon. Yeah, I could see it. Please take care. That thing is one of Ganon's creations. Indeed. I as much of a fight as I could, but it proved to be my demise 100 years ago. Regardless, I believe that you are well prepared for this moment. I have faith in you. Alright, chat. So what we do is, we run up to it. And then we do this. And he staggers. And then we do this. And he's at half health. Lel. Oh, okay. Now there's water. Careful. Not much room to open it. Okay. This this makes things different. Ow. That's new. He never took the floor away from me in Hyrule Castle. Get your ass down here. Can't use the arrow in here. Or any of this stuff. No wonder this is annoying. Get, get me on the platform, please. <laughs> okay. The Water Blight fight is slightly more annoying than the Hyrule Castle version, duly noted. Because he takes away your footing. Go figure, it actually is more annoying. <laughs> Okay, so here's here's my plan. Here's my plan. I move up here. And uh wait for him to teleport. Okay. Um... 
Where'd he go? What? What? That was highly specific. Wait, why am I still on ice arrows? Alright, whatever. It was weird, but we kill him now. Never mind, we do not kill him. That was really weird, Chad. He just kinda didn't reappear for a bit. Piss off. Come down. Alright, piss off. There we go. We dealt with him. Did you like the laser reflect, chat? <laughs> the completely unnecessary laser reflect? Did you like that, chat? Well, you can't believe the action point anymore. Oi! Oi! You know, I'm curious, what happens if we ignore the hot container? Like, what would happen? That'd be interesting to think about. Alright, we're good. Is it like just gone forever? Yeah, but if it stays there and you can't come back in here... Is it just gone forever then? Because of your courage, my spirit is now free. And Ruta as well. Thank you. For I am now allowed by this freedom to be with you once again. Since I am now a spirit, my healing power would be wasted on me. I have no need of it. So therefore, I would like you to have it. Please accept Mipha's grace. Ah, oh, it's moved, huh? You'll be next to the fast travel point of each divine beast. Yesterday, I see. I was awash in a pool of tears. I had nearly given up hope and resigned myself to being trapped here as a spirit for the rest of eternity. But now you're here. All this time my hope was to see you once more. Promise me that you will not hesitate to call upon my power if you ever find yourself in need. Knowing that will let my spirit rest in peace. I must go. Ruta and I have our roles to fulfill. Unfortunately, we Link's heart belongs to Zelda. Able to play the role of support. We'll annihilate Ganon together. Farewell. Save her, Link. Save the princess. Save Princess Zelda. Blinding white light.
Hey, another shrine down there. I gotta go to it as soon as we get out of here. a way to be useful to Link, and the other champions, of course. Our job will be to help Link as he fights Ganon inside the castle, however we can. To the power of laser beams! Bring Ganon of his power is key to our success. This is it. This will be our last chance, and everyone's last hope. If we seal him away, then we can restore peace to Hyrule. And both your duty and mine will be fulfilled. Father, are you well, I wonder? I want you to know I have always followed my heart. I'm sorry I made you worry. I wish I could see you again. We can just once more. Hmm. You know, I wonder what if we did all four divine beasts first before we go see Impa? <laughs> like, what would happen? Would the dialogue change? That's the question. We have returned. But we have a resurrect now, cool. Rivali's Gale is now ready. <laughs> you get the noob training wheels? Whatever that means. Free revive, yeah. One free fairy. Okay, the shrine's over there, right? I saw it from from atop the reservoir. I am curious, and I will look at it. No. It covers you to full. Mm. You know what, let's just head up there. We'll head up there first and then we'll mark it. What is that noise? Oh, so why is it so dank here? Oh. Ah, Blood Moon. Ah, Blood Moon. I was like, wait a minute. Gloom hands? The Blood Moon rises once again. Yes, yes, yes. The Blood Moon rises once again. <laughs> Gloom hands? Wait, that's the wrong game. All 
Alright, let's just head up up let's just head back up there for a second. I want to spot that one shrine I saw from up there. Yeah, it's the equivalent. For sure. It's probably something up top there too, right? I guess we'll make a look-see. Oh, we're good. If nothing else, there's probably a Korok up here. Yeah, how did I know? Okay, those are indeed just lighting effects on the other side. Rotar's over there, I see. Take a quick look, see if there's anything up here as well. There's another Korok hiding here. Isn't the field music mostly the same? Hmm. Then again, I've, I've barely heard any of it. <laughs> I've only heard the castle. Slash the, the Danks. There it is. <laughs> right. We cannot we cannot whip out our marker in midair on this one. Alright, anything on this side? In Tears of the Kingdom you will be able to build a boat and come over here. Okay, I don't think there's anything else here. Just a place you can dive off from. Middle of lizard territory. <clears throat> okay, what do we have here? Five flames.
<laughs> I have only guardian weapons. Got it. Simple enough. There's also a chest up there. Two chests up there. Nothing we can magnesis over though. You no, know, these these shrine rewards usually aren't worth it, so I'm just gonna leave them be. I guess you could burn the platform to get them to come down, but yeah, it's whatever. Hmm. Oh, we've got six orbs just lying around. We haven't turned them in yet. Okay, I guess we'll head back to Zora's village first. There's probably a goddess statue somewhere in there, right? There's a goddess statue in every town, I assume. We just have to find a good spot for it. Also, we have to... We have to turn in the final quest anyway. Everything is nice and sunny now. Well, sort of. Link, you did well to survive your trial. I have been awaiting your return. The violent downpour has disappeared as has the threat to Zora's domain. It is all little more than a bad dream now. Thanks to your efforts, there is no longer any danger of a great flood laying waste to Hyrule. You appease the divine beast Varuta and thusly save Zora's domain. We are tr all truly grateful. What you did for us is more than we could have ever expected of you. Link, I must sincerely apologize for my harsh treatment of you. That whole time you were thinking of Hyrule and Lady Mifa's well-being just like the rest of us. All of the members of our council humbly forward our fins back in gratitude along with the rest of our people. Perhaps the older generation of Zora, myself included, misunderstood Hylians after all. It would seem so. That's it. I would be overjoyed if you could find it in your heart to forgive me. If not now, then perhaps one day. Link, I must reward your efforts. Now then, I implore you to collect the treasure inside that chest over there. It was cherished by Mifa, a memento of sorts. I would like you to have it as a token of our friendship. Please take good care of it. By the way, Link, I see here you without your trusty blade, the sword that seals the darkness. 
Did you perhaps lose it when you lost your memory? <laughs> what sort? Hmm, so you have forgotten that as well. That is a legendary blade that only you, the Highland Champion, can wield. It undoubtedly found a safe place to wait for you, sleeping soundly just like its master. Link of all the Zora thank all the Zora thank you from the depths of our hearts for your heroic and selfless work. And you too, Sidon. As your father, I am proud of you for fighting of the Divine Beast alongside Link. You have grown much recently. I know you will be a worthy heir when your time comes. Father, I thank you. The heavy rains have stopped and the Divine Beast is our ally once again. How glorious, truly splendid. Wahahaha. Link, this is wonderful. Can I have some pants? Link, thank you so much. Truly, I could never thank you enough. You helped save our home from vanishing away. This calls for a top tier expression of gratitude. Zozo ra ra ra, with all my heart, thank you. Yay! Hooray! We are a hero. Funny enough, I don't think we're ever going to be getting the Master Sword anytime soon because we're putting all our points into stamina instead of health. You need 13 hearts to pull it, right? Oh, it's a weapon. It's me for slight skill try then. Can you you wait? It breaks though, right? And you can't. Can you get more of it? I don't think you can, right? Yeah, yeah, the hearts don't count. What happens if you break it? You can get more of these champion weapons, I see. <laughs> Sidon's just going real hard. <laughs> can you bring a diamond? You gotta bring it to the Elder? Don't you feel bad? <laughs> It'll be all like, sorry. That that real that that weapon that you entrusted to me, I didn't take good care of it, and it's now broken. Uh, cool. Highly, to think that you were able to please Ruta, you turned out to be a pretty incredible guy. In fact, I wonder if you can do this too. <laughs> Exterminate the Hinox by Rallis Pond. I can do that. The giant of Rallis Pond. This would be where. Somewhere over here. Okay. If I did Hinox, I could probably do that. Well, if I'm doing that... Realize probably need to wear this if we want to swim up it. Hmm, that is a helpful traversal, too. There's the there's the dude. Ah. 
Well, <laughs> ow. Why did that count as him hitting me? I call bullshit. Didn't even do that much damage. Oh well. Okay, actually, we're taking a lot of damage from this. Set so his knee gun on fire? Probably. Almost about to kill him anyway. simple enough. How good is this bow anyway? Oh, it's less good than the one I have right now. Okay. I'll leave it be then. I should probably do another batch of cooking soon. Alright, I guess we'll just do a quick check of the area, see if there's any shrines nearby. Oh, Korok. Oh, there's a climbing challenge one, eh? Okay, just in case we need a stamina for all of it. You know, we still haven't found the, uh, still haven't found big corrupt dude yet, so we're sitting on our default inventory. There's a dude over there and he's glowing. See relevant? I guess we'll check on him first and then we'll go back. Never mind, that is not a person, that is just a pillar. Wow. This isn't a cave, it's an inscription. History of the Zora, part 7. The hero who defeated the 
The Nell as told by King Dorifan. There was a time when the people of the land were threatened by the dread beast Lanel who lived on uh, that, that mountain over there. But one high they drove the beast back and restored peace to the domain. The Zorahelm uh, win? Warn? Warn? Warn in this fight is north of in the ruins near Lake. It rests there to honor the deeds of the hero Link. Time has taken its toll on this. North of the lake, huh? North of Lulu Lake? Probably. Right? I mean. North of the ruins near the lake. Okay. I guess we'll pay a visit to the lake first and then we'll and then we'll go from there. Alright, we're going on a little side quest for Gonna track down this piece of armor. Is this on the side of the? Yeah, it is. This way, if we go this in this direction, we will find it eventually. We might some we might find some shrines along the way too, you know. So all good. There's a Korok chilling here. Oh, wait. Is this one that we've already picked up? I guess it is. Must be. Ah yeah, it's it's the reservoir. We went we were here just now. Right. I think this waterfall is... Yeah, this waterfall doesn't count. Probably not. Take the slow route there this time, just in case you run out of stamina.
Mm -hmm. That's some pretty stuff. It's real pretty, that's for sure. Hey, another inscription. History of the Zoro at Endem 2, Prince Sidon's Great Escape. There was once a giant octorok in Hateno Bay, large as a mountain, which terrorized the village's fishes. Hearing of their distress, Prince Sidon went forth to personally eliminate the offending octorok. But his octorok was a tricky beast. After the prince dodged one of the stones and spat it and hailed him whole. Such has been the fate of many strong warriors who went to slay the octorok, not one and come back alive. Just as it seemed Prince Sidon would be counted among them, the giant octorok twisted in pain. The tip of a silver scale spear pierced the octorok's stomach from within, revealing itself as a source of the beast's agony. Incredibly, Prince Sidon had fought his way out by stabbing his spear over and over into the monster's stomach. Unable to bear the pain, the Octorok coughed up the prince and scrambled to escape. Ever since, the fishers of Hatenobi have passed down this heroic tale. The prince slew the fell Octorok. Cool. Oh. Now I'm curious if that's background lore or if there actually is a giant Octorok still somewhere in there. Alright, so this is Lulu Lake. Yeah, we've made it. <laughs> now we're looking for some ruins. And maybe a shrine? Is there a shrine somewhere up here? That's the top of the mountain where I assume the, the Lanel would be. Like the foxes in this game. They are pretty cute. If I keep going this way, I'm probably gonna find the Lanel. Okay, no shrine up here either. Okay, looking for some ruins. Wait, hang on. No, that's just water. There's one. It's a ways away though. So not quite near what we're looking for. There are two lakes here, so it could be one or the other. Yeah, like this is one lake. Wait, it's a two tiered lake. This whole thing is one lake. Hmm. So it's further north from here. Most likely. Those look like ruins. This is Toto Lake. Okay, this is a completely different lake. But there are ruins here. There are three possible lakes. We're looking for a memorial.
north of the lake. It's a weird looking moon. Oh, it's uh. Right. Hmm, Silent Princess. Alright, chat, I guess you can just let me have. Just, just answer this one question. Am I, am I in the vicinity? Or am I completely barking up the wrong tree? This looks like it could be the ruins. It's a it's ruins in a lake, so north of here. But I could be at the wrong lake. Uh, Zora Helm. We're following the directions to the Zora Helm. We're looking for the memorial to Link where the Zora Helm is kept. There are three lakes here. And um I think it I think it might be this one because it has ruins in it, but we also it's a little bit far from the mountain, so it could also just be back here and we missed it somewhere. Floating Scales Island? I don't know what it is. I guess we don't have it yet. Don't tell me where it is. I, I just wanted to know if I was like in the right vicinity or not, and if I wasn't I was gonna check the other places. Anyway, I guess I'll do this shrine over here. wrong game. Hey, it's the big spiral. I've been here before in Tears of the Kingdom. There's a big hole in the ground somewhere nearby here. Yeah, I'm grabbing the shrine. Whatever that is. And I guess after this, uh, actually, we're about to hit eight, so. We we'll have to find. We we'll have to look for the goddess statue in the Zora domain, I guess. Or we could just go back to. We could go back to Great Plateau. I'm not picky, but if there is a, there is a um, minor test of strength. Okay. There is a goddess statue in, in Zora's domain, though, right? I would assume so. Combat train. Chad. I said, don't tell me where it is. Just tell me if I'm in the wrong place. <laughs> I didn't want the. I didn't want the direct hint. I just wanted to know if I was in the wrong place so I don't waste time. Ow. That's all. Like, tell me if I'm in the wrong... Like, so I don't waste time looking in the wrong place, that's all. Understand that... I want to... Understand that I want to explore. Well, I did say Toto Lake. Alright, we'll, we'll go back there in a sec. Anyway... I need to I actually do need to focus a little bit when I'm doing these. So let's let's see, let's see. 
It shouldn't take too long. Yeah, because I was reading chat. Relax over there. Relax back there. I tried to be greedy. Actually, I think this... No, it's dirty. It's, it's better. No, Broadsword's better. This is an ancient weapon, though. Ah, heck it. I'm pretty much exclusively only using Asian gear by this point, so... Who's gonna stop me? I think the shield's just... I think the shield's neat. Laser shields and all that. I think I see the tower back there too. Yeah, the shittiest durability. But it's a good thing that we're only getting into combat when we absolutely have to. Right? Because we don't we really don't need anything at this point. We can just raid Hyrule Castle for more weapons if we need them. So I'm good. Okay. That is a great fairy spot. Five hundred. All right. Well, fine. I gotta stop making food and selling stuff again. The power of money. Don't question it. Please don't talk to me like that. <laughs> I'll come back to you. I'll come back to you about it later. I just wanted to unlock the spot first. I don't question because Tingo has had two entire games when rupees has literal lifeblood and source of power. That's fair. Alright, what's the tower in this area? Whatever, I'll go down to the spiral. It's probably something. It's a big spiral, there's probably something down there, right? Just to save my curiosity. There's a big hole in the ground when... There's another shrine over there. Oh, the tower?
I don't really need a cold resist fluid anymore, so like super arm. But uh, I've got I've got ancient arrows. Does that count? There's a shrine down there, or there will be a shrine. I don't see where the tower is, though. I guess I'll find it eventually. Oh, so there's something we need to do to activate this shrine, I guess. Tower is further inland. Alright, we'll do a loop around. We'll loop around and see you later. I'm just gonna see what this thing is. Okay, it's the base where a shrine would be. We have to do something to activate it. Is it setting this patch of grass on fire? Nope, it's just a Korok. Crap. Hmm. Okay, so this is probably related to a puzzle of some kind. And we don't have the riddle to it, that's all. I guess we'll come back to it then. Yeah, there's probably like a riddle somewhere that tells us to go here and do do something or other. It's not it's not that long a journey, we can come back to it later. Here on the edge of the map. We're gonna do that shrine, I think we'll turn around, look for the tower, try and activate the tower, and then maybe we'll finish for today. That should be a good amount of uh, game covered, right? I suppose. At this rate, I'm honestly tempted to. I'm honestly tempted to do all the divine bees first before we <laughs> go see Impa. Like at this point, I'm I'm vaguely curious if she says anything different. Like at the beginning of the game, it will be like, you know, they, maybe they direct you, hey, go free all the divine bees. But if you come to them with all the divine bees freed already, I wonder if they say something funny. It's possible. Oh, it's a stable. You can probably see the tower from here then. Okay, what do we got in here?
Catosa Aug Apparatus? But that, that doesn't tell me much. Oh. It's a motion control thing. Is it motion control only? It's a golfing shrine. Like, could you do these shrines without motion controls? Now, now I'm a little curious. It's a very quick one, though. Not enough complaining. Simple, simple puzzle. Okay, I've got enough for two more stamina upgrades. There's a tower over there. Oh, I have it marked already. Okay. That's a shrine way in the distance that we've already activated. Okay, another shrine there too. We'll keep it marked for. We'll keep it marked for the future. All right, let's make for this tower. Oh, another, another shrine. Hmm, hello. Dead guardian or are you active? You are dead. What the heck? Yeah, I'm I'm lazy to do that right now. We'll go back to, we'll get back to that. We have more pressing matters on the mine. Big ass field this is. Kind of on a mountain. That's slightly annoying. Oh, it's in a fortress fortress.
Oh, there's guardians on it. Ah. As in, we're gonna have to do a little bit of laser reflecting if we really want to climb there unimpeded. Ah. Gotcha. That's what you meant by heavily guarded. By guardians. Well, we've dealt with guardians before, so I guess we'll be fine. Okay, the fact that it's raining is gonna make this a bit annoying though. Maybe we should take the waterfall path. It'll probably let us cover more distance more quickly. The rain's about to end anyway, so... Actually, the waterfall is not going to lead us where we need to go. It's going to lead us over there. Which I guess we could use to try and parachute over. Or we could just go up this way. Okay, the rain is pretty annoying. Yeah, maybe I'll, sh I'll shoot over. I'll shoot over a little bit. Hmm. It didn't drop any parts? Ooh. We'll take the waterfall. This is back in charted territory. And also, it stopped raining, somewhat. Yeah, it stopped raining. I think we're I think we're fine now. So I guess here's what we'll do: we'll use Rivali's skill. Yeah, we'll gain as much distance as we can on the way in.
You know, I think I was in this place in Tears of the Kingdom at one point. I think I did too many jumps there. Sneak in past all this dankness. There is a lot of dankness. Since I'm here, a lot. <laughs> Too many hearts. If just two of them is that much, ooh. Should be enough for now. Past the dankness, shouldn't take too long. Okay, never mind. It's pretty dank. We need to shoot. We need to shoot some eyes. Hmm, where's the eye on this thing? There it is. Okay, mm I messed that up. Oh crap. Why why wait, why couldn't I grab the wall? Hmm. Okay, that was awkward. Should just go for the parry instead of the instead of the back dodge. Maybe. Where's this gonna put us? Hmm. Oh, just here? That's not too bad.
Okay. I, I, I. No I. Well, if we get past this, it's a straight shot up to the top, so... Right, nothing else. Okay, yep. Hmm. So much for heavily guarded though. It's not that heavily guarded, there's so many holes you can come into. It's mostly dank, it's not really guarded, it's just dank. There we go. Problem solved. Wait, why is that guardian up here? Sir, do not shoot me. The sky guardians can give you trouble? Mm. I see. I kind of snuck past all of them just now. You didn't have ancient arrows? I didn't even kill any of them. I just snuck past them. <laughs> Although I could have done the re I could have done laser reflex again if I wanted to. Probably. Alright, we've got this vicinity open. It's just a dead guardian here. Yeah. It's a random dead guardian over there. Why do I have a pin on this thing? I don't remember why I have a pin on that thing. Never mind. Uh, I have a pin over there. I'm gonna leave those pins on. Uh, Total Lake. Alright, so... Head back there. Oh, right, it's a sh I mean, I'm assuming it's usually a shrine. If I, if I left a pin somewhere, it's probably a shrine. Anyway, yeah, uh, that was a bit of a detour, but we killed the Hinox, so let's see about that, and then uh, we'll fish that, we'll fish the Zora Helm out of the out of the pond, and yeah, I think that's probably a good place to stop. Got the Hinox. Really did. I just I can't. Wow, that thank you, really. Hmm, thank you. I did. I did need cash. So they can that direction. Rivali's Gale is now ready. I was trying to see if I could put a cry on this platform below us, but I guess that was a little bit too far.
You know what chat, where is the goddess statue here? There should be one here, right? Does anyone know? Is there a goddess statue in Zora's domain? In Fogar? It's in town somewhere. You know what? I'm lazy. We'll just use the one in the Temple of Time. I want my extra stamina, then we'll go fish. Yeah, it'll probably make things easier. We'll go We'll go for extra stamina, and then we'll fish the Zora Helm out of the pond. And then we'll call it for tonight. <laughs> I think there was a decent amount of progress, right? Yeah, I know where Rito Village's one is. Apparently, I didn't get this one. Funny, I come here. I can see more towers over there that we haven't we haven't grabbed yet. You no, know, I never noticed. I never noticed as well how many dead guardians are around here. Like right outside the temple, right outside the temple of time, there's so many dead guardians. Probably law relevant. Uh oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. I got it, I got it. Relax, we got this. You know, I might do a bit of money farming while we're off stream. I probably could use some of it. Probably for enhance clothing enhancements and whatnot. Yeah, we don't need extra hearts. We beat Ganon without extra hearts. Why would I need more hearts now? I need I need exploration stamina. That's what I need. All right, now now we go back here to Toto Lake. I don't need hearts and tears of the kingdom either. I beat Ganondorf without extra hearts. Uh huh. Though I guess, hmm. I mean, most things still respect the one shot protection from what I've been observing. Most stuff does. So I guess as long as you're careful. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna eat something. I move faster. Oh my god, that is faster. I'm gonna need to start making more of these foods. Oops. I move so I move so fast. Too fast. Press the wrong button. Time out can't come up. Alright, minus uh total leaks that we
Yeah, I'm definitely gonna need to make more of these speed up boots just to make exploration go faster. I didn't try it before, so I didn't know how much of a difference it would make, and it's a huge difference. Like, geez. You zoom in. Although, I guess in Tears of the Kingdom... In Tears of the Kingdom, you won't have to worry too much about it, because you can make vehicles. Wait, second Breath of the Wild run? You did two runs? Like it actually did like two entirely fresh files. Huh. Okay, so apparently it's under the water somewhere here. There it is. Yep. There's a... Oh, we can now attack on the water? Ah. Okay, not quite what I was expecting, but it's something. At least I'm not completely helpless anymore. Alright, so two orders of business after this, I guess. Um, we gotta find more rush rooms. How many do we have? A decent amount. Gonna need to make more speed up food. If we really want to, I guess. And then probably more money. We need more money. Other than that, I guess we're done here, yeah. But... Oh, we're in the vicinity of our numbers. Did you see that? <laughs> Did you see that pig? Are you down here? Did you actually end up down here? Do you drown? Are you okay? I think he's gone. I have expected to see a couple of stakes floating in the water. Actually, maybe they are floating in the water and they floated even further down. Hang on. Stake? I don't know where any of these locations are that you're talking about. We'll, we'll, we'll just go where the wind takes us and we'll find out stuff, I guess. We're not in any hurry, so... I think we'll, we'll just go wherever... We'll just go wherever we feel like going. There's no time pressure right now, right? It's an open world game. Let's just do whatever we feel like doing. 
All right, um, we'll call it at that for tonight. We'll see. We'll see how this coming week's stream schedule will be like, and like when we will continue what. Um, so yeah, stay tuned for more updates, I guess. All right, have a good night, everybody.